Okay, now this part of the video of the unicorn build, I'm supposed to be building the head, but uh, there's some stuff I can do before that, and they involve these pieces. Now, I thought I'd be using these pieces, you know, several steps ago, a couple days ago when I was building the torso, but that is not the case. But before you get to the head, you're looking at the manual, and it's actually showing you, you know how to wire up the entirety of the unicorn, and you get to a point where you're actually sticking uh, the torso onto the unicorn. So, I, you know, I've got my, my feet here. I'll back this up a little bit. People can see a little better. How's that, everybody? Okay, so, yeah, sorry. I'm trying to get everything in the shop, but, okay, my remote control. I got, I have this. Now it says that I'm, if I was running the wires in, I'd be opening up the arm here, running wires down inside, and then attaching this to the kit, but because I'm not using LEDs, I can go ahead and uh, put this on here. And in, in the manual, they, they do show it sitting on the stand, but they don't uh, advise you to do that. That's not actually like a, a requirement when you're getting this far in the build. So I'm just gonna cl close this up like so. Close this up like, like so. That's on there. And now I can, if I want to, and of course I want to, I can uh, Make sure I got these on the right arm. This is obviously the the right hand based on the thumb. I'm going to slap it on there. And this is going to be the other side. Like so. And gotta gotta get it on tightly, of course. It's it's got some ways to go, like there's some there it is, snap on here and this one as well. Yeah, I got that one. Okay, now I'm going to put these together and have myself a unicorn body. Clunk. There you are. There is the unicorn body. Here, everybody can see that. Dun, 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 dun. Running into my runners here. Let me move those. Unicorn body. And swing it around. Everybody can see. Look how tall this thing is. Okay, so now it just needs a head. So I'm going to just put this over here and uh, we'll get to the head. All right, here's the parts for the start of the head now. Uh, there is one poly cap in here and I am supposed to take, let's make sure I'm looking at this the, the right way. I am supposed to take this piece with this edge up and I'm supposed to put this, this part inside it like so Get that in there. Sorry, everybody. Can you follow along there? Now, this PC piece, it's supposed to. It's got a wider edge of the here. At the back, it's supposed to go into here, I believe. So let's slide that in and see how we do. Okay. So far, so good. And then we'll close it up. All right. Okay. Here we go. And this is uh, this is our head frame. Now it's it's. It's looking, I mean, it's got that unicorn shape, right? However, I need a couple psycho frame parts already, and these ones are really small. I need 18 and 19, so uh, this is flipping this over so I can read them properly. Here's 18 and here's 19. So 18 fell first. That is on the right side, and then 19 is here. That's on the left side. I'm looking at it to make sure there's no under gates. Um, there's a little, little bit of gate there, but it's not an under gate. It's just a little bit of gate left over from when I cut the piece off. So these are supposed to go onto the side of. Oh wait, there's a, another gate I missed. Sorry, everybody. These are supposed to go onto the side of this. So if this is sitting down like this. I got one on either side here. Let's make sure I got the right one here. So, looking at this, I believe it goes on like so. Let me give it a try. Move this out of the way first. Can I get it on? Giggity. Little click, little snap, right? It's not going to slide off anymore. You heard that little click, right? Let's put that on too. Click. There they are. We got some, some frame there. Now, what I need to do is get some of my armor, and I'm going to get this very unicorn headpiece here. Be careful, this is a rounded part of the kit, so when you're cutting this off, you don't want to cut 
a too sharp an angle and kind of ruin that that rounded edge. And there are under gates here, right there and right there, nice and smooth. So taking this and uh, B21, which is this piece here, let's get that here for you guys. And I imagine I got under gates on these. One at the top here it says, okay. There it is. So I have these here. Now I need uh, something from my Q runner. Um, the Q runner, I must have left over here. Hold on a second. Let me dig through my parts. Here it is. This is the Q runner. And I am supposed to use some very, very small pieces. Number 18. You see how small it is? It is the smallest part of this entire kit and I need two of them so let me cut that off put it down here so I don't lose it dig out my other Q runner find the, the matching one here these are the head falcons there you go taking those these will go onto this piece first so and let's make sure I know where these are going. These are supposed to go into this opening here. Interesting. So could really use some really use some tweezers right about now. One second everybody. There's there's one side, you can see that there as well. Can you see the Vulcan sticking out? Got lucky that time. Let's see what happens this time around. Okay, no tweezers necessary. There they are. They're mounted in there. I'm taking this and just turning it over. It says the next piece I need to use B4 and B5 and I10 and I9. So B4 and B5 are these these white parts here. Here's B5. Here's B4. There they are. And I9 and I10, so here they are. Here is I9 and I10. I10. And these, now I got a little bit of edge there, <laughs> like nobody will notice it, but I see it already, so let me let me trim that off, make it pretty. Otherwise it'll haunt me forever. I don't want people like second guessing me here. Okay, this is supposed to go in here. I can see where it's going to go, but it's really tough to actually see if you've got the right angle. But there you, there you have it, right? Let's, let's try it with this one. Very small, you know, I'm working with such big parts before when I was building legs and the skirts and torsos. And now I'm on the head and these, these pieces are back to being kind of the size we're used to, the master grade size. So these ones, I now have to kind of, it says I have to feed into here, like this one. Let's see, oops, everything's falling apart. Right in there. I can see an opening there. So I'm assuming it goes in there but okay I'll lay it in there I guess it's meant to like pop out this side right but first it needs to get settled in there before I get ahead of myself one click two I'm trying to get this flush on this side without putting a lot of pressure and I don't want to push too hard of course so here we go those kind of sit in there of course they'll tidy up as I get more parts on there so now what I need to do is I need to grab my kind of main center part of the head that's a sizable gate mark Okay, good, and one here. I 
I need WA2. Now, WA runner, this one, the one we saw before with the shield parts, there is something on here that's not part of a shield. It's actually meant for the head, so let me make sure I grab the right one. WA2. Oh, we got this green thing here. I'm using some green parts. These are going to be for the eyes and stuff as well, it looks like. So, taking this now. I am meant to put stickers on here. I'm meant to use these things, these foils. It looks kind of green already, but I mean, for me, that'd be good enough. But it says I'm supposed to put stickers on as well. Hmm. How do I feel about that, everybody? How do I feel about that? Like I'm thinking of like putting it in here just to kind of test, like, how does that look? I don't need the stickers. You know, I think that piece looks good enough. Don't want to make it look like an HG, right? So instead I'm going to take this frame part and I have to like plug it into this angle. So here we go. Snap, let's click in there like so. Now the fun part. We showed you the A runner before, here it is. This is the first run of the whole kit A and it was rather small, but you realize when you turn it over, whoa, it's kind of special here now. These are the, this is the unicorn horn and inside here are some magnets. And I guess they're supposed to kind of stick together and keep everything together. Well, we're going to find out here. So I'm going to take A2 and I'm going to cut that off, which is this side. Plastic feels a little bit different. I don't know if it's the same kind of plastic we've already seen. So this is A2 and this is uh, A1, of course. Take these ones. And I don't need these anymore. This can go in the garbage. And I, t I need some, some small pieces from the end runner. I need N8 and N9. So these are really small, almost rounded. I only have one gate mark there. So A8 and A9. I take, I take these and I'm taking the unicorn horn like this and I am hopefully doing this properly. It goes on like like this. I mean, I see this. Hmm, I see this opening back here, but it's not really showing. Oh, maybe like so. From up, from the top, not from this side. Manual says from the top. So this is the same, right? From the top. I'll slide in so you guys can see. It should work, right? It should work, right? From the bottom on this one, though. Be very careful with your one and only magnetized unicorn horn. And these are now meant to like just kind of fit together. But I'll, I'll fit them together this way. Here we go. As stiff as I can. Now how does that, how does that magnet work? Well, I, I'm trying to see if, it actually, if I actually feel it kind of work. But this, more interested in this joint here is it's doing a lot of the work. So if I close this. Yeah, it stays together. That's kind of cool. It was kind of a part and I, I went oop, and it stayed together right where that magnet is. So it, it, it can move, of course, because it's not super strong magnet, but it is together right now. So I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to move this to the side. And I have uh, some more to do with some frame parts. So I need N7, which is this, uh, sorry, this one, face mask, eyes and stuff. So N7. And I8, which is going to be the frame, the psycho frame. I8. B14. Let's get all these pieces that are ready to go here. And yes, there's going to be under gates on this. And WA1, which is this small eyepiece here. So taking this. With these pieces, let me get with these pieces here. I'll take off the uh, the gate marks before for continuing here talking. Of course, everybody's gonna be looking at the face, right? Maybe I can make sure I do a good job here. So, first things first. It says I have to take the face mask and plug it onto this thing here, but uh, it just kind of sits in there, right? It'll fall out if I let it go. So it's just supposed to rest in there for now. And now I have to take this part and the eyepiece and the eyepiece I'm supposed to put stickers on but they give me the choice like I can use I can use three and four which are oh no it's not a choice I have to do both 
I can use three and four or I can use number two. But two is supposed to go on the back if I choose to use it, and three and four is supposed to go on the front if I want to use it. So I guess I can either add green here or kind of block off green back there. And I'm not, not sure which way I want to go yet, but I'm curious. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the, the back sticker first, just to see what kind of effect it provides. Because then I can always use the front ones if I don't like it. So make sure I got this properly, man, if I messed up the back stickers in the eyes now it goes on like so no yeah goes on there goes on here nice fit of course nice perfect fit Bandai push it down the back side with my nail here so I've got that on there I wonder when you look at it, what do you see? Well, it changes the green a little bit, but man, that's kind of weird. Hmm. I guess if I'm, I'm wanting the LED to shine through the eyes, maybe I don't want to uh, use the eye stickers. So I'm going to assume that that's what I'm going to do right now, right? Let's slide this in. Make sure I get it correctly. Those eyes are looking kind of cool. But man, is this part small. So sliding it in here. Allow me to use this for a second. Look at it from this side. You can see the eyes, right? The LED will shine through there. Or I can stick the stickers on and stop that. Make it a little more green. Um, I'm going to leave it as it is, actually. Then I'm going to... I've already got this. So I just need to kind of put these together here. This will encompass both of those. So there you go. Look at that. There is my unicorn face. That is pretty cool. Okay, taking that, still not done yet. I need uh, more of these frame parts. N14. N14 is here. And Q17, which is this little hook right here. N14 and Q17. What I do with these is I have this part like so. It's obviously the side of the unicorn's head. This is clips on the inside of it, this joint here. And then onto that, I take B6, B6, B16, which is this small part right over here. This is where I cut off my fingers. So be very, very careful. Don't do it. If, if you watch me do it, don't, don't do that. That's bad. Yeah, <laughs> undergate. The world's smallest undergate right here. I feel for my fingers. I need a new knife after all this digging around in this plastic. Okay, that's acceptable. This is actually going to go on this part, but first I gotta lay in the frame piece. So let's lay in the frame piece like so. And then the front falcon, that's kind of cool. Like if you were to want to paint this, you'll be able to do it. That is cool. So make sure I get the right one here. I cut out the wrong piece, guys. Sorry. My mistake. Gotta go back and dig up gate marks. Dig up tiny gate marks. And right there, too. Okay. Slap that on. Like so. You can see it. The tab here slides in. It's really nice and secure. And I've got to do that with the other side. So 
So I take those, get off the gate, the inner gates. And the frame part on the end runner. And that last Q, Q part. this in here that's kind of cool just how they've shaped inside there to be able to grip on kind of you know that friction holds it really really securely now I got one more thing to do here with um, B20 you know the face guard here's that and then B I'm sorry what's this N10 and there's under gates on that. And WA, back to WA, WA3, which is this part right here. So taking that, let me get the gate mark off. It's there, yep, yeah, right there. Taking this, the first thing I have to do is plug this green thing in here, like so. Now, hmm, I don't want to do this. I have to plug it on, but I just noticed I'm supposed to put a sticker here. Hmm, okay. Sticker number one. Really? Interesting. The shape of this sticker. I wonder if it almost be, would be worth it to kind of cut off the arms and put it on as three parts. But I'm a sucker. So I'm going to try. I'm a sucker. I'm going to try and do it as one. And it says I need to line up on that outside edge. So let's do. Let's make sure I got that outside edge. I really need my tweezers here. Okay. Okay. Almost there. Probably should have had the tweezers though. I will admit I was not prepared for, for this. <laughs> you know, these are optional. So I'm kind of just making life difficult. For you don't need to do it if you don't want to. Okay, it's in there. Good. Doesn't really add any effect, does it? Now I gotta push this all the way in <laughs> without breaking it. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. And then this will slide on from the back, this face mask, just like so. It just kind of sticks out there. Now I've got these, these parts. Now it does say that from this point on, you will be wiring LEDs through the head. And I've got all these pieces here, but course I am not doing the LED so I'm going to skip the, the part where you actually mount an LED right in here and uh, I'm going to go to the next part which has me take this frame part and you're supposed to like wire the LED from here through here and down this is quite different from uh, most of the MG's or P previous PG's we've done right I'm not even sure how this is supposed to go on right now but what I need Mm, okay, you're just supposed to wire it and not attach it yet, but you can put on the back part. Okay. Back part seems fairly important too, and fairly simple because no LEDs run through it. I'm getting to that part of the manual, everything looks a little tough. So. This kind of looks like an undergate, but it's not. 
So, or is it? No, it's not. It, this can look like an iron gate under this edge, edge, but there's a little flash here. So you can clean up the flash, but don't cut this off. Taking this, plugging it onto the back. How is it supposed to go? With the, <laughs> this is so cool. Like that, like that. Okay, it sits in there. I still got this thing moving. I'm supposed to push this up and just kind of hold on to the floating, <laughs> floating face mask. But I'm also supposed to put this on, so I'm kind of glad I'm not doing the LED right now because I got a lot of stuff going on right now. So, this goes, bear with me. If I push it all the way up, I'm looking at that. This is supposed to go here. There's a little uh, edge in there. It looks like it's supposed to fit right in here. It's just a matter of trying to line it up because it's, it's an angle that's difficult to see, let me tell you. It's an angle that's really difficult to see. One, two. Of course, that starts flipping out, but it actually secures these in there like these things that will come out. They're not moving now. They are in there nice and the fit is pretty good. It's, it's nice and smooth down here. So there you go. And now I'm still having this like free floating face mask. It just kind of sits there. So uh, the next step is to take this part, drop it in from the top. Now it slides in between, I guess. Click. All right. So far so good. This head part is it's more difficult than <laughs> Than anything else that I've seen before. So now with this assembled, I can slide this up into here. Let's try. It says it's supposed to click, so, and I just noticed this moves, so I better hold on to it. Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. Snap, there it is. This open head. I can put it down like so. It'll sit there like this. And I'm supposed to put the the unicorn horn on. So one sec here. Make sure I got it together. Unicorn horn goes in like so. Uh, it actually clicks in, thank goodness. So uh, the magnet's holding it right here where it's narrow and it can move side to side a little bit, but it's it's solid, it's not wiggling around too much. So with this open, I have to take face mask and it looks like it's going to drop right into here. You have to come from the top and ooh, yeah, smack. That's kind of scary because these bars are on their own kind of thing. The wrong pressure and you could be in trouble. Now, this piece I'm sliding on right now. Here we go. There's my unicorn. And one more thing I need to make sure of is I can actually like close the head up now, I believe. Like so, and you can see like how this, this frame tucks underneath and then this thing will come up. There you go. Oh, like, and it clicks in even more. So you don't have to worry uh, about that, that kind of gap in there. And I just see some, some gate I don't like. Some flash actually. There's no indication that that was the under gate, but I saw it when looking from below. So I've got this thing. And now what they want me to do is actually like pull the back off, pull the back off and run the wire down and then put it back on, but no wires for me, which is good because I'd rather keep this thing together. And then you put it on and then you put on these pieces. Now I'm gonna take a gamble here and actually uh, drop these pieces on. Here's this ball joint, Yee. this ball joint. So I'm going to drop these on here. Interesting, a ball joint comes from the angle from below instead of, right, from below. Kind of sits in there even though there's this little edge. So it's, it's you think it's not gonna go in all the way, but you get it enough, right? There it is, maybe. <laughs> Come on, ball joint. 
He went in on the other one. Okay, there we go. There's the unicorn head. It's looking pretty awesome. Yeah, so I was going to put the head on and unveil this thing, and then I realized, you know what? I haven't done the backpack. Yeah, I'm running short on time, but I really want to get the entire thing done. So I'm going to do the backpack, and then I'm going to put everything on. So for that, i got to start cutting out uh, these kind of larger cycle frame parts. And we're going to have a head slash backpack ep uh, part episode. So make sure I get these out of the way. I need M1... M5, there we go. And there are some sizable gates on these, but they're undergated. So, you know, there's a couple of smaller ones, and there's one big monster one that needs to be taken care of. And this one as well. All right, so I got those, and I'm gonna need I1 and I2. So, I1 and I2. I imagine this won't take me too long, right? I mean, I'm right at the very end here. I've even prepped some pieces, so I'm not too worried, right? I want an I2, so I'm going to take these, and here we go. Let's let's drop this on. Make sure I got it all lined up properly. Snap that in there like this. Uh, they're going to put I want an I2 on now. These are supposed to be like like this, just kind of floating for now what it looks like. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. We'll tuck these in. I3. So we're doing a couple couple things at the same time. Opposite sides. I3 and I4. So let's make sure we get the right ones. So this one. I4. Which one did I miss? I3. And these ones I've already prepared. Look at me going ahead and doing that, right? Cut these out. Remember these from the legs? That was some time ago, it feels like. And the skirt? That was not so long ago. Coming back to these. Trim this down a little bit. Okay, so drop these on here. Drop this one on here. Plop it on. Snap, snap with these like this, like this, like this. <laughs> it's just in this angle. It's supposed to fit into the big M piece or the big I piece. Sorry, this one's quite large. Number 11. And I'll take out 16 while I'm at it, because I'll need that in a second. No undergates on either of this. Most of the cycle frame is covered when you're building this. You don't have to worry about uh, gate undergates or gate marks at all, really. So taking this large piece, like so, I'm going to put this piece in here and put this piece on this side. Oh, that was easy, right? I'm going to take this part, plug these in like I already did, and this kind of drops down from the top. but I think I gotta make sure I get it the right way. See through, so you're not quite sure. There you go, it's just gonna slide in there. And then I'm going to attach it. I'm trying to work at a quick pace here because you know what? It's the end of the day and I kind of want to go home. Dude, dude. Keep these out a little bit. Maybe I have them too far in when I was trying to do this. And I can see you wanting to fit in there, but something's not working right, is it? You gonna be down a little more? No? That looks like, that looks correct. It just doesn't go all the way. There is a gap in there. I guess that will be filled by armor parts. So when I got these sticking out here, I need to grab uh, this, this small last bit of the M runner here. I've got, got to find that. The M2 runner. This has got a gate mark on it too. Although I didn't cut that one off very well, did I? Okay, under gates on these things. Put 
put it on. And so now, where is that last blue runner? There's only one part on it, but I made sure to keep it, so <laughs> didn't want to lose that. But now it's garbage. Now I don't need it. Oops. Thank you for attending this event. Here we go. Get all the under gates off. Tuck it in. Hmm. I still see some under gate I'm not too happy with. But tuck that in there. Snap. Clicks in very good. I need M114 and M111, which are these sides here. 11, oh, okay, I see. So let's do them. 11 and 10 first, because they're the same piece. That's 10. This is 11. Any under gates here I need to be aware of? Nope. And this one here. Now these are supposed to sandwich, right? So I need 13 and 14. So these ones will definitely have under gates. You want to be careful with the blue. You know, you mess up white, you can kind of hide it, but blue, not so much. Okay, and this one here. Looks like this. It's looking pretty good. This one. This one, and this one. Okay, so I got these. Now these are supposed to, supposed to sandwich this part. So I'm coming on, coming here, and then this one comes underneath here and kind of fills this gap, so. Interestingly enough, it doesn't kind of say which one goes on first, but it's easy enough to get that in there, right? So, all right, and then tuck them in here like so. You can add those thrusters I just made. Oh, I gotta make them. the next one, sorry. Should have prepped everything beforehand, but you know. One, two. All right, let's drop these in here like this. One, two, like this. Now I've got this, I'm gonna grab M12, which is a biggie, right? This guy right here. And there's no under gates on this one, but you will have some marks. So, I mean, you want to clean them up, but you got to be really careful because if you, you take off more plastic, it, it becomes white instead of that blue, right? So just be careful. Hmm. The one blemish on this kit, maybe. Get some gunner marker though, and you'll never know. So I've got this piece. I got that part and I need the P runner, which is very small. We haven't touched this guy in a while. It had hand parts and other parts like that. P2. Okay. Here we go. This is very much like the MG. So dropping this in here. Make sure it's make sure it's even here. Click. You can see that's what's going to drop onto the back of the unicorn. And then let's line these up. All right. This is a hole. This is a hole. This is a hole. Okay. Good. Good. Kind of bulky, but good. Now I'm going to take. This M9 one, that's a giant gate, but it is under gated. M9. Okay. Good. 
Okay, let's just clean that up. Right. And that's, uh, now I need like PC parts. So I've got my PC runner here. I need uh, PC 10. Two of these guys. Where's the other PC runner? PC 10. And PC 14. Another unique shape here. PC 14. So PC 14 is going to slide into the the middle here. Push it in and then the, the PC tens are gonna face up and slide in in here. There is a groove at the bottom of them that will fit into this space here. Push those in. I feel that the space I'm working in has gotten a lot smaller. All right, okay, with that, I put on I7, which is the last cycle frame parts that I'm going to be using for this kit. So there you go, this is the last cycle frame part, and it is going to clip on like this. Clip on, swing it this way, and put on M6. Yuck. Mm. Could use some more undergating on the blue, I think. But even that's like just a minor complaint compared to you know what they just they've just given me. Click, click. You are supposed to slide onto that. Like that. Now this, of course, will open if you want to attach something in there, right? But now I guess this is going to go on the go on the go on the backpack. So this is supposed to drop on from the top. And the oops, be careful! Your poly cap doesn't pop out while you're doing that. You're going to need these to hold beam savers and whatnot, right? Okay, that's in there now. Let's drop this on from the top somewhat. And like so, like that, and of course we got these last parts on. Here they are. Let me cut these off. And this will be the last of the blue parts too. And why is that a surprise? I mean, I'm at the end of the actual unicorn. After that, it's it's all weapons. So there are under gates on this guy. That's not a good gate mark. You'll need Gundam marker to clean that up, but we'll see kind of where it where it is once everything's all said and done. All right, so with these parts now, I'm gonna slide them on here, and this will open, of course. There we go. Slide this on. It will open like this. Cool. I'm gonna turn this down now, so we're back into the unicorn mode. Now I have some parts I need off of the Q runner, and I cut one of them off at the very beginning of the build by mistake. So I gotta make sure I got that again. So uh, we need Q 12 and 13. And there is even undergates on these small parts. So. 12 and 13, right? <laughs> Had the world's smallest under gate right there. What about this one? Nope. Okay, so we're going to clip those together. And then I've got the beam savers I actually made before. Hold on, let me get the other, the other ones out here. We're gonna do both at the same time. Here we go. Put these together. Interesting that there are two parts. Put those together. Take this 
14 part. Now, it says I need, sorry, I need Q14 and P9. So I'm not done with these. Let's do, let's do P9 here. Okay, gonna need that one. Here's P9. P9, Q14. Where are you, Q14? I need you here too. Q14 has a couple under gates. Which I never would have noticed before, right? There we go. Okay. Even these small parts have the inner gates, but they're so small. Now, going to slide those together and going to slide this one together. Like so, and then once I have all right, this, this one, I'm going to take this part. I can put it on. There's no poly cap, but it's a really nice fit and then I'm going to grab the the beam saber handle on it and I guess it's going on like like that and then I can you know lay it in here so put that on turn should probably turn my beam saber so it looks cooler right there we go same thing with the other side Attach the beam saver. Nice tight fit. Put it on there. Boom. There it is. So this will, of course, swing around when it becomes destroy mode, right? Like the backpack everybody's familiar with when it comes to the destroy mode. All right. So I'll put this back because I'm going unicorn mode right now. Nice and easy to use. That's cool. Not as fidgety as the HG or the MGs. Okay, so. Now, I guess it's time to put everything together. All right, here's my unicorn. I got the head here, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna drop the head on first. Come on, buddy. Snap. Hmm? That is stiff. That's a poly cap in there, but that is stiff. Hold on. Ah, oh, there we go. And one thing I wanted to show you guys with the head while I have it here is watch how they, these pop out. So all you, can, all you need to do is spin them around when you're going to the different mode. But be careful, like I'm overextending myself here just to try to show you the, the amount of spin it has. You're not gonna need to do that much, so let me put that back. I'm gonna flip over my baby and I'm gonna mount this on here. And if you wanna use the stand, the base, it actually goes up underneath here first, but I think this guy's strong enough to stand on his own, right? There you go. Let's, let's stand this up. I'll pull the shot back a little bit. Yeah. Right, here we go as far as it goes guys so let me move up here this is the unicorn this is the pg unicorn now, i have a bunch of weapons i'm going to need to assemble but i'm really really happy that i i got the the head and backpack done it's looking awesome here we go the beast of possibility has now been assembled <laughs> 